what if i have to what if i have to create the folder creating an excel file is very easy you know that right dot add we have seen this what if, what if i have to create a folder why i want to create a folder maybe every month every month on the 30th or 31st the month end or 28 29 whatever if it is feb or feb leap year we are running a report which what it does it compiles all the 28 or 30 or 31 uh excel files and club that data in some excel file and then that excel file goes in some folder in some folder no in a folder of that month right so we should know how to create the folder now you will say so it's very easy i'll create the folder and we'll just by knowing all this you know that once we are done with our job uh running the collection loop and opening the files and copying pasting the data you know we just go and move that file in in that uh, called uh, the folder using f file dot uh, copy or file dot move method isn't it right but i'm saying let we be create the folder because every month you do this activity or let's say you do this activity every week or whatever i don't know let's say month so month according to the month the folder should be created so uh, june right so let we be create this june folder and then move the files over there can we do that yes we can do that so this library is very amazing very informative very powerful and also at the same time quite fun you enjoy or doing all these things so first of all i just go and say create a folder okay let's say how we can create a folder now creating a folder is pretty easy it's again this is available in file system object create a folder if you go here see this this is available here build path and create a folder i think create a folder yeah this is this is the one i never used build path to be very honest but you can always google what it does create folder so i want i want to use this file system object right so we simply go and copy these two lines or create a folder piece right and the folder is Now the folder is let's say I say I can give any path, but let's say I want to create a folder in the same in the same path where this Excel file is right now, right? And I have said this, I I have already told you this, but again you can say okay, so this workbook dot path, the path will come then backslash, and then and then uh, you know the month like it's June, we we'll just keep this as June. So then. we will have this june folder you see that put the message box up so let's go to our folder where we are running this program um so let's go to your so this is the folder actually uh sunday we be batch look at this obviously this will be empty right so we have got the name here now what if as i said next time when you run this report there will be a july also right we will not do this what we are going to do uh, we first of all find out the month so how i can find out the month well i can write the syntax here also directly we can use the month function but uh, let's go step by step uh, step so we say that my date as date we get the date what are the date we have and then we will get the month get month then this variable will use the vba format function like you have text function in excel so from that date we simply want mmm i think we will be able to get that right so everything you can write in one syntax also like instead of creating all this simply just copy this and paste here and instead of writing my date just write date which is the vba function anyways so get month Right. We go and check that. So I go and delete this first of all, and let's run this. Okay. So it should uh, uh, create the file under the same path where this is, and there we go. You see that? Done. Right. Now, the thing is that because again, from practical, the, when you are going to work on the project, you need all these things. The next time when you run the program, suppose you you created the file and then 
you realized or maybe client did not send you few of the parts now you have rerun the code now when you rerun the code again next time this will not allow you to create the file if you if big big uh, sorry uh, create the folder because the folder is already created right so what do you want you want that i should check if the folder is already created then there's no need to create the folder but if the folder is not created then you should go and create the folder right so check folder is created or not yes we can do this so it's very easy how so before you create the folder right you've got everything now in place you simply say fso dot folder exist this folder exist is also available folder exist or file exist if you want to check very nice so we can always check the folder and the files if they exist or not we say if that folder is existing which is what which folder again get month name but then get month name is june you have to provide the path also right there has to be complete path so if the path is different you write that different path but because our excel file is here on the file which has a name called uh, file folder this one right it's under the same folder so what i do i'll just say that this okay slash slash so if this folder exists then then what do you want to do well if it exists then i simply want to do not want to do anything and if it exists and um, if it does not exist then i want to create it what do you think about this can i run this let's see that wow fantastic now if i delete this now if i run this what will happen now it should get created see this cool right so these are the things right now one more thing uh when i say folder exist i mean you don't have to write here too because folder exist itself is asking that if it is true right but if you want you can write it but i think the more important thing is what if let's say for some reasons you want to write that if the folder does not exist then do this otherwise do that right like you say that if the folder does not exist then i want to create that folder so in that case what you do you simply go and change this to not and then you write this line here okay because you see generally people they know that if there is a equals to then there is a not equals to right which is opposite of equals to right but when you when you work with this these objects you can't write here those things that if this not equals to true no this is how we write not so now you are saying if the folder does not exist then do what right so then else let's say let's say message box folder already exist let's hit on this you see that okay the other things there's so many things in this uh lab okay now let's create some project this time what i do i create some events let's say you have here uh all these files right demo 1 demo 2 these excel files right now i'm saying that folder must be created here of the current month and these files should be moved there okay right line by line step by step you know you have learned but how to put all those steps now uh bring those steps together and you know uh, make a one giant step so first we have to go inside this right this folder and we have to run the collection loop also correct project files and create a folder this is what we are doing create a folder you can create the folder with the data also why not let's say this is what we have to do. create a folder date wise every day you are running this let's say right so instead of so first of all what i want to do is i want to define the folder my folder is this one desktop and training correct fine then i go inside this and if okay so let's say we just want to uh, move the files 
uh, these which contains copy right also fine but now this time we have to move this under a folder and that folder first we have to create it. and if it is not created then we create if it is created then we will not create it okay so i am going to do this in a again a different way so by calling another function uh, by calling another subroutine because you know we know we have seen this call word also so here if i find the if i find the the file okay which means which contains copy word i go in the another macro okay which actually is going to create a folder for me okay so i create a folder i can write here also but let's do this way create a folder create a folder we will check the date and so here the date comes and once the date comes we'll uh, change that date format to because date is in backslash and you cannot have a backslash in a folder correct so we'll say dd or mm whatever mm and whatever right so if i try to run this let's see that what will happen uh, create a uh, date folder let's see that first of all perfect so that means we can have this folder created right if i just leave this as a uh, date then the date will have a backslash and i think uh, we will not be able to we will not be able to create the folder because backslash is not allowed right so i'm saying that uh, if if you just run this code like this you see this i cannot use here i mean to create the folder right so first of all we'll create the folder here so again i have to use the fso because fso has a create a folder method right now why i have to use the fso again here i know this is my day to day task so why why can't i just go and make this module level variable or why can't you just go and make this global level object object variable global object isn't it can we do that or not right right would you like to do this can we try see i cut this from here and i put it here because this you have learned in the variable chapter also right so it means that now you don't have to declare the, these all things here you can just go and remove all these things from here right what else yeah so not even here isn't it right you don't have to define so i'll simply say because my fso is defined i just say fso is to new file system object it the folder with the uh, again now this time i'm using the path the different path your file is in a different path where this program we are writing right so i have to write this with backslash and get uh get get it okay so we should see a folder which then should give us all these files there right so here we are calling and the folder is create we are creating the folder now before we create the folder again we'll say if so folder exist right this one please do not create the folder and uh, so if it exist then don't do any wrong uh, is okay so this is a variable it should not be a within double quotes so finally now one more thing i want to do because you see if it, it if it exists i don't have to create it right so if it doesn't exist the folder then i have to create it so it means i don't need actually the uh, then part here right i mean this is a one scenario so as i said before also if you remember we can write if in one line also isn't it so we say that if the folder does not exist right then you go and then you go and create it correct so let's avoid the unnecessarily the other lines right this is how it is i have written this if in one line right and then you don't need the end okay if you don't remember this you have to revise i don't know that okay i have told you 
this is not the first time we're doing so if the folder does not exist then this will create otherwise this will not be created once the folder gets created then what is the next thing i want to do the folder will come back here isn't it and then we will say okay so time to copy that folder in that time to copy that all the files and you know move them inside that folder uh, which is obviously going to be uh, let's see that this one this one right so file should be copied in this folder now remember get me is a local object the moment the code comes back here you will get the error like for example if i run this see option explicit says get date name is not there right so i cut this from here i make this module level private variable so it can be accessed in any subroutine of this program a lot of things are going on here isn't it right so can i run this now first of all do we have this folder no we don't have right okay so first file should it should check so else else again as i said you can put here the you know this break code let's quickly run this f5 there we go so now we have got the file which is copy 10 let's go in the create folder right and uh, now i'm uh, i'm calling this folder uh, this another macro so i have to give you uh, this uh, how we use this call word right because in variable chapter you learned how to call the macros but now i am giving you one practical example also this does not mean you can't write all this code here you can write but you see if you look at uh, this code from the um, perspective of like you know uh, if let's say you, are, you, you have to do after moving the files again you have to create pivots and charts and all that i think uh, splitting the macros in this way creating small small macros for every different purpose uh, will give you more flexibility you will find your dear coding you know uh, more clean and you will be able to uh, read the codes i think in a better way okay other other than writing everything in one code that's the only objective it doesn't mean that you can't write this entire code inside this okay so that's why i have just created this separately so here we should have a folder you see it's going to create the folder so we have a folder as you can see once now the folder is there this the file will be copied and it will go here in the path desktop training and inside this get name and i think i should write this one more black flash because we have to go inside this now this get date get date name is we have changed the scope of this variable from local to module level okay otherwise you will you, you were getting here the error remember now there is no error so can you see that look at this now right again new file again now the folder will be created now this time the folder will not be created obviously you see that it didn't go in the then area because the folder is already there right so finally all the files are going to be moved in this tomorrow when somebody runs this program again 20th june will also be there okay anyway so we'll continue with uh, the rest of the things like how to work with the text file and another thing there are a few more important things a big chapter uh we'll, we'll take all these in the next sunday session okay guys till then you please practice on all i have to go somewhere so today we are keeping this to our session fine then thank you